AI, 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 AI. You know, more agentic, agentic capabilities. AI agent, agents, agentic workflows. Agents, agents, agent, agentic, agent, agent, agentic. Sounds very scary, right? Everywhere we hear the term AI agent. But what does an AI agent actually mean? Is it something like secret or undercover agents? No, it's not that kind of agent. Let me give you a quick example. Imagine you own a chocolate factory and you receive thousands of calls, messages, orders, and feedback every single hour from customers all around the world. It would be incredibly difficult for humans to handle all of that. That's where the AI agent comes in. It can automate the process and manage everything from top to bottom. Everything from sending reply messages to speaking with customers runs 24-7, handling it all without any human intervention. And today, we'll create our very own AI agent for our chocolate company. So, let's get started. The tool we're using to build our AI agents is Jogform AI. Just use my description link to get started. Once you land on the homepage, click the button that says Create AI Agent. The best part? It's completely free to set up and use your AI agent. Now, this brings us to a page where we can start building. Step one is to select a channel. But what exactly is a channel? A channel is where your customers will interact with your AI agent. For example, do you want it to be a standalone experience? On the right hand side, you can preview what that looks like. You could link this directly from your website or even embed it into your site. You can also set it up as a chatbot, and again, you'll see a preview on the right. If you prefer, you can even turn on voice-based interactions. Maybe you want customers to call your agent or talk to it directly on your website or app. Jogform also supports platforms like WhatsApp and Messenger. The good news? You're not locked into one channel. You can always come back and switch channels anytime. Now, let's go ahead and click on Next to start creating our AI agent. This takes us to a screen where we can define how we want to start building our agent, and we have a few different options. Let's take a quick look at these options. Right here, you can start with a form. If you want your AI agent to help customers fill out forms, this could be a great starting point. You'll also see a templates option. Jobform offers thousands of pre-built AI agent templates. Chances are, if you have a specific use case in mind, there's already a template that can help you get started quickly. And finally, there's an option to clone yourself. This one sounds fun and could be interesting to try out later. But for now, let's start from scratch by clicking this option. Now, we need to describe the agent we would like to create. Below, you can either choose one of these pre-selected options or type in your own text. I have something specific in mind, so let me type it in. This AI agent helps customers place orders online, resolves issues, provides helpful solutions, and answers common questions from my chocolate factory. Once you've typed it in, click Create at the bottom. Now we have an AI agent up and running, but we still have a little bit of work to do. In the top left-hand corner, you can see that we're currently in the AI Agent Builder view, and we have to run through this process before we can publish our agent to all of our customers and users. First, we need to build it, and this is where we can adjust the style or design of the agent, essentially the look and feel of the agent. Over here, we can also train it, so it knows how to respond to customer questions. And finally, we can publish it. Right down below, we can see a preview of what our agent looks like, and over on the left-hand side, this is currently a preview of the standalone experience. So here, you can jump through all of the different channels to preview what the agent will look like. Let's start by adjusting the design of the standalone channel. In the standalone view, I see a visual of our assistant, and it's a woman in a suit. That doesn't really fit the vibe of a chocolate company, so we need to change it. On the right-hand side, I see the designer panel, currently set to gallery view. I can browse through it to find a more suitable avatar, but most of them are people in suits, which still doesn't feel quite right. Instead, I'll try searching for avatars. If I type in chocolate, I see a variety of chef avatars. That's a better match. But let's go one step further and use AI to generate a custom avatar for our chatbot. I'll type in something like, a friendly cartoon elephant wearing a chef's hat and holding a chocolate. That sounds perfect. Then I'll click on generate avatar. And just like that, we have the new face of customer service for the chocolate company. You can also upload your own avatar from your system if you'd like, but for now, I'm going to stick with this AI generated one. Up on top, let's now click into style. Here, we have full control over what this conversation page looks like. Let's select this color scheme that aligns with the brand colors of the R Chocolate Company. I could also type in specific color values if I wanted to match 100%. Here, I could select the agent title. 
Instead of just Ellie, let's go with Ellie the assistant, and he's a order support specialist. Phew too, I could adjust the background. I could even upload a background image. We could tweak the chat style, the button styles, even the layout. And down below, we could even upload a logo into this experience. Why don't we do that? I'll take the logo for the chocolate company, and let's upload that. Here, I'll click on save, and that now uploads it into this interface. That looks great. I'm feeling pretty good about the conversation page. So let's now take a look at the welcome page. Down at the very bottom, let's switch to that view. Here too, we can fully customize how the welcome page looks. This is the first page your users or customers will see before they start interacting with the agent. Let's begin by updating the heading. Over here, I'll select all the text and type in customer care, sweetness delivered. We can also add a description so customers know how they can interact with the agent. Looking over here, these green buttons actually match our color scheme quite well, so I'll leave them as they are. But if you want to change them, you can simply click on button at the top and adjust the button color. Right now, the welcome page is looking great. I think we're all done designing the AI agent. Next, it's time to train the agent. Right at the top, let's click on train. This is a crucial step. We'll be training our agent, and it will use all this information when responding to customers. On the left-hand side, it takes us into the knowledge base view. This is where we can build up the agent's knowledge base, and we have a few different options. Here, I see an option for link. This allows you to enter a website URL, and the agent will use it as part of its knowledge base. I think that's a great place to start, so I'll click on it. I'll type in the website for our chocolate company. We have lots of information and I'd love for the agent to use it all. After entering the URL, let's click on Crawl. It's going to take a little bit of time to collect all of that information from our website. So, in the meantime, let's add some more knowledge. Right up here, click on this button. Next, I'd like our agent to know about our cookie prices. That way, if a customer asks a question about how much a set of cookies costs, the agent will be able to answer. I have all of that pricing information in a PDF file, and here, I see an option to upload a file. So, let's try that. Here, upload my PDF file that contains all of the chocolate and the prices. Down below, it asks how the agent should use this document. I wanted to use this when customers ask questions about chocolate prices. Down below, let's click on save. Look at that, we're just dropping some knowledge. Let's add some more. Right up on top, click on this again. Let's now add some text-based information. I'll click on this option. Here, I can paste in information. I'll answer information about our business hours, location, the website address, even our phone number, and then some additional information. Down below, let's click on save. It's such a good feeling to take all that knowledge from my head and to give it to the agent to empower it to answer customer questions. One of my concerns is sometimes customers have a negative experience at the chocolate company, and I want to make sure that the agent knows how to handle that. Over on the left-hand side, let's jump into actions. With actions, you can give specific instructions to your agent. So, when something happens or some condition is met, the agent takes some specific action. So, let's test this out. I'll click on this drop-down, and I'm concerned about customers who have a negative experience. Here in this list, I have all sorts of different options, and I see one for user sentiment. I'll select that. And now, I can define the sentiment. I'm really worried about customers who have a negative experience or maybe they're upset. I'd like a human customer service specialist to step in rather than having the AI agent handle that situation all on its own. Down below, I can now specify the action, and here I have lots of different actions that I can choose from. Here, if I go up, let's have it send an email. I'll select that option. Down below, we can customize the email. Here, I see a subject, and I can also type in the email content. I'll enter in, our AI agent is speaking to an upset customer. Please have a human customer service specialist reach out. I think that sounds good. Over here, I could also define the recipients. Here, the sender name and also the recipient email. I'll have it send it to our customer service address, and down below, I can now click on save. Right up on top, I can now review the action that I just created. Sometimes customers reach out and would like to tour our chocolate factory. Of course, we offer that, but I would like the agent to be able to book those tours directly on my calendar. Let's jump into tools to see if we can do that. 
Tools allow you to extend the power of your agent, and here we see a few different options. We could show images, take notes, display a PDF, or you could also send files to Google Drive. It's incredibly powerful. If I scroll up just a little bit, I see an option to set an appointment with Google Calendar. That's what we use to keep track of all the factory tours. I'll click on this. Right at the top, we need to let the agent know what it should use this calendar for. We also need to integrate or connect with Google Calendar. Over here, let's click on Connect. Then, at the bottom, let's click on Add Action. Right here, we can also set up availability. Since we don't offer factory tours all day, let's click on Edit. This opens up a section where we can configure the available times. Our tours take an hour, so I'll leave it set to 60 minutes. Down below, I can set the intervals. We offer tours from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., and another slot from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. I'll enter those in, and everything now looks good. Now, I'll type in a prompt, set an appointment on this calendar when a customer wants to book a factory tour. I need their email address and full name, so I'll make sure both of these fields are checked. Lastly, let's click on Save. Right at the top, I can now see that this tool is running. Over on the left-hand side, let's click into Forms. Forms allow you to collect data from customers. Currently, we don't want to touch that. Let's proceed with the next one. Over on the left-hand side, we can also teach the agent simply by chatting with the agent. Let's click on this option. And look at that, it looks like Ellie the assistant is looking forward to speaking with me. So, let me share some of the questions that I have top of mind. One example, a lot of customers always ask us if we ship chocolate around the world. Let me share that back. We also have lots of customers asking whether they can bring young children on factory tours, and of course, we do, all ages are welcome. Let me also contribute that information. The beautiful thing here is you can simply chat with your agent and build up the agent's knowledge base. This is especially helpful if customers continuously ask the same questions, simply type it in here, and your agent will then know for all future conversations. We're getting really close to finalizing our agent, but before we do that, let's have a quick look at how the agent talks and also acts. Let's click on this option. Within AI Persona, you can adjust the agent's name, its role, the language it speaks, and the tone of voice. For a chocolate company, I think a friendly tone makes the most sense. Below, you can also adjust the conversation style and how long its responses should be, should it be minimalist or super chatty. I personally don't like dealing with very chatty customer service representatives, so I think short responses are a good compromise. You can also set various chat guidelines. I'm good with all the default settings. Now comes the moment we've all been waiting for. At the top, let's click on Publish. The Publish page makes it really easy to share, embed, and distribute your agent through various channels. For example, if you want to share a direct link, let's copy this link. Or if you want to embed this agent directly into your website, you can click on Chatbot Agent on the left-hand side to get the embed code you need. If you want to set up a phone call, you can click on the phone agent. Here, you can buy a dedicated phone number for $10 a month. When customers call that number, they'll reach your agent. You can also make a test call using the information provided below. There are various other channels you can choose from, and the platform will guide you through how to distribute your agent across each of them. Let's now test the agent that we created. Right up on top, let's click on Preview. Why don't we jump into a chat? I'll click on this button. All right, let's ask, how much is the dark chocolate? Let's see if it could answer that. Look at that, the price is $60. That's exactly right. Let's ask about business hours. Let's send that. Looks like it's spot on. Let's try this one. I'd like to schedule a factory tour. Okay, let's see what's available. So it wants to know what works for me. Better give it a time. Let's go with Wednesday, April 25th at 3 p.m. But it's replied, slots were not available. Yes, that's correct. Because I gave the wrong date, so it provided a perfect day on its own. Okay, nice. I will confirm. Once you're all done previewing your agent, to review all of the conversations that your customers have with the agent, in the top left-hand corner, let's click on this drop-down by AI Agent Builder. And right here, we'll see an option for conversations. Let's click on that. This opens up all of the different conversations that customers have had with your agent. This is really worthwhile looking through. There you go. That's how easy it is to build your own AI agent with JotForm. Again, feel free to click on the link down below to get started. That's all for today. In the next video, I'll come up with another interesting AI tool.